Death knell for Russian tanks, Ukraine gets new smart missiles. The UK announced a record military aid package for Ukraine recently. A large part of the package will be missiles, both anti-aircraft and strike missiles. Oleg Katkov, Ukrainian expert on armaments, explained on the air of Apostrophe TV what kind of missiles Ukraine will receive from the British. As for the new British aid package, Ukraine in particular will receive air defense equipment. We are also talking about Husky armored vehicles, Storm Shadow missiles, etc. At the same time, there are things that arouse a certain curiosity. For example, we are talking about 1,600 missiles, both strike and anti-aircraft missiles. Obviously, it is about separately anti-aircraft and separately strike missiles, he added. According to him, as for the anti-aircraft missiles, we are most likely talking about ASRAM missiles, which are used in an actually new for Ukraine anti-aircraft missile system that has not been announced. The British are also supplying us with Star Streak and Martlet anti-aircraft missiles, which are essential for systems such as Stormer or Manpads. These are also extremely necessary things and only the UK produces them. Regarding strike missiles, this is where it gets interesting. We could be talking about the versatile Martlet missile, which can shoot down aerial targets and also be used effectively to hit ground targets. This is why it has been renamed the Universal Lightweight Missile. Despite weighing 13 kilograms, the missile contains up to 3 kilograms of warhead. This is enough to destroy light armored vehicles. This missile has a specific laser path guidance, so it is quite effective for hitting vehicles. A similar system is used, for example, in the Ukrainian Stugna, he added. Ole Katkov said that also surely Brimstone, which has already repeatedly proved its high efficiency, falls into the category of strike missiles. It is a small missile with a unique ability. When a salvo of missiles is made, they exchange information among themselves, distribute targets and hit them in a swarm. Also, these missiles can find appropriate targets on their own thanks to their own radar homing head, perfectly distinguishing targets such as tanks, armored vehicles against the ground. This is a unique feature of the Brimstone, which is effectively and permanently used by the Ukrainian army for launches from the ground. It is a fairly effective anti-tank weapon, hitting targets at a distance of 12 to 20 kilometers, he added. The U.S. secretly sent Ukraine long-range at ACMS missiles, which Ukraine has deployed to attack Russian targets. In the past few weeks prior to additional funding for Ukraine being approved by Congress, Reuters and AP reported this, citing an anonymous U.S. official. It is reported that attacks were included in the IS $300 million military aid package for Ukraine that U.S. President Joe Biden approved in March 2024. AP added separately that it was a significant number of attacks, but did not specify the precise quantity. The United States will continue to supply Ukraine with that ACMS tactical missiles, stated U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. We've already sent some missiles. We will send more now that we have additional authority and money, Jake Sullivan said. At the same time, he refused to name a specific number of missiles that Washington plans to supply to Ukraine. Ukraine first used these missiles on the morning of April 17 to strike a Russian airfield in occupied Crimea, some 165 kilometers away from the front line in Ukraine, the source said. It is also claimed that attacks were utilized in an attack on occupied Berdyansk, Zaporizhia Oblast. The Pentagon was initially reluctant to send attacks to Ukraine to the fears that this would negatively impact the combat readiness of U.S. forces or that Ukraine would deploy the missiles to strike targets on Russian territory. The White House changed its mind after Russia deployed ballistic missiles supplied by North Korea to attack Ukrainian critical infrastructure facilities. Joe Biden ultimately made the final decision during a national security meeting in mid-February. According to Reuters, the attendees, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Charles Brown, were unanimously in favor of sending Ukraine at ACMS. Earlier this week, President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that his most recent phone call with Joe Biden resulted in agreements for the supply of long-range at ACMS missiles to Ukraine. 
American media had reported that ATACMS might be included in Ukraine's next package of U.S. military aid, likely worth you Sony billion dollar. Улица Химиков. Okay.